We have uh, Judith Pebble here. Good morning, Supply. members of the board. The library district requests your discussion and possible approval of a temporary license lease agreement July 1, 2014 through August 7, 2014 between the Apache County Library District and the Vernon Fire District. The lease has been reviewed by Joseph Young of the County Attorney's Office. Uh, thank you. Uh, do I have anything? Uh, any motion from the board? Motion to approve. Okay, I will second the motion to approve with a question, uh, uh, Mr. Pebbles. Would you uh, just help me understand a little bit why we're doing a, uh, a short, short lease like this? At their last, <coughs> excuse me, at their last meeting, the Vernon Fire District Board. Uh, determined that it was not right for them to support a um, second office which houses the food bank. And However, they currently have insurance until August 7th that would allow them to cover food bank distribution. So they asked if they could have a short lease, one month, um, so that they would allow the food bank to make a July distribution. Okay, that is the food bank has the insurance you're saying for just a short period? The Vernon Fire District is provide, they are acting as the umbrella agency for the Vernon Food Bank. So, the, since their insurance changes on August 8th, up until August 7th, they still have coverage that would allow the food bank to operate make their distribution out of the office at, um, in the Vernon Library. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, we'll call for a question. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, the motion carries unanimously. Uh, motion to adjourn the library district. Oh. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Library district is adjourned. Thank we you, will gentlemen. now open the uh, July 15th Board of Supervisors meeting. Okay. Item number one is uh, the consent agenda. Do I have a motion on that? Move that we approve. Okay, uh, I will second the motion to approve with uh, that I would like to make for the record. Uh, two items. Uh, I would like to state that the logistics of the demand system is not yet uh, settled. Uh, I will approve this uh, particular consent agenda for uh, uh, the sake of keeping things moving forward today. Uh, and I would also like to make a statement for the record that uh, there are two items that the county attorney's office uh, was uh, asked to do in the July 1st meeting. I have not yet received the written uh, opinion uh, that was requested on the one item, uh, nor the uh, data requested on the uh, grant. So I would ask that the county attorney's office please review the minutes of July 1st and provide me with those in the information that was uh, requested at that time. With that, I will ask for a... Uh, a call, call for the vote. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 The, vote, the consent items pass unanimously. Item number two, recorder's office. Good morning, board members. Morning. The recorder's office morning. offers a item for the agenda. Discussion on possible approval to convert a currently full-time 40-hour position to a part-time 20-hour position and to create a part-time 19-hour per week clerk, range 12 at 8.20 per hour as part of a reorganizational plan. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Judith. Could I have a motion from the floor, please? Will we approve? Thank you. I'll second the motion to approve. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I uh, call for the question. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, the 
motion uh, for the uh, job changes in the recorder's office carries unanimously. Thank you, Ms. Fulton. Thank you. And three, the sheriff's office. Good morning, board members. Chief Deputy Brandon Eager. Good morning. Uh, I'm here to give you an update on the San Juan fire first. The San Juan fire is uh, fully contained at this point. Uh, was 6,975 acres. Uh, I do have some documentation for each of the board members that I'll get to the county manager. It is the fire and aviation management briefing paper and the burned area report from the bear team. Uh, the burned area report is the request for funding to do the uh, mitigation work on the forest. And I have not heard uh, when they will expect to start seeing that funding so that they can uh, continue moving. But I know that they're pushing on it and I would expect to see that this week. Uh, that's basically it. All I have on the San Juan fire, unless there are any questions there. Yeah, Chief Deputy Eager, uh, what is the dollar map they're requesting for uh, uh, re refurbishing? Uh, let me see. I cannot remember. I think it was. I'll have to find that page real quick. Bear with me, please. Sure. For uh, everything, it looks to me like they are <clears throat> requesting $228,300 for the recovery. Okay. Uh, that, uh, that, I'll, I'll look at the report. That seems like not very much, so maybe there's not that much problem up there with uh, potential flooding. Uh, well... We did have a, a pretty good flow through Sepulveda uh, Wash, Sepulveda Creek yesterday. Uh, it uh, did go over a couple of the roads out there. The roads department was there, took good care of it, and uh, everything is passable again, again today. We would want to make sure that the public understands that during those flows, uh, we don't want anybody crossing any water that's crossing the road because you can't tell what's washed out beneath it and it's a short-term event these flows are going to be they may last uh up to an hour an hour to two hours but outside of that they will uh, recede and dissipate and the public can continue on their way we we just want to make sure that everybody understands the danger of the water when it's crossing the road and don't want to get anybody hurt Thank you. Continue. Okay. With that, I believe that uh, should cover us on the San Juan. Uh, the other part of this uh, agenda item is to uh, discuss and possible action, including reduction of fire restrictions, uh, as well as possible action related to the current state of emergency that was put into effect June 27, 2014. The uh, fire restrictions, all of the, uh, the energy release components were well down uh, below the 80th percentile uh, on the 7th of July. The National Forest, uh, Navajo County, and uh, Apache County all did a tentative lifting of the fire restrictions. I, I say tentative for Apache County because that is... Uh, upon approval of the board to lift those restrictions. And at this time, I would recommend that the board lift the fire restrictions officially. Thank you, uh, Chief Deputy. Do I have a motion from the floor? So moved. Okay, I'll second the motion to lift the fire restrictions in Apache County. Any further discussion? 